first, as always, take a nice, easy, deep breath and scan your body to see if there's any clutching or holding. And if there is, simply breathe into it and let it dissolve with the breath. When you are clearly sensing your identity as the wordless background in which thoughts appear, then thoughts are not a problem. You just let them come and let them go, knowing that the real you is unaffected by them. But if that's not what's happening for you now, there are three approaches to thought that might help. One approach involves simply ignoring thought. Another involves turning your attention away from thoughts. And the third involves looking at thought directly and delving into its nature. All of these approaches can work, so let's try them and see which works for you. The first approach, ignoring thought, sometimes is enough for some people. It involves simply ignoring the words that come into your mind. Simple as that. A thought comes, ignore it. Or you can ignore thoughts in the same way you might ignore the scrolling text at the bottom of the screen in a TV news show. But for some folks, thought is too insistent. And so you need a little extra something, a little extra inattention. One way is to imagine that your mind is very slippery. Thoughts come in and they can't find any purchase to stick around. They just slide on out the other side. An image I use for this is that of an old-fashioned an old-fashioned amusement park funhouse disc. When I was a kid, there used to be one at Rye Playland. And all of us kids would sit on the disc and it would start spinning gradually, getting faster and faster. Try as we might stay on the disc, the centrifugal force combined with the smoothness of the surface would cause us to slide right off. You can play with your mind that way too. Just imagine it is so slippery and perhaps even spinning that when thoughts come, they just slide right out the other side. The second approach is to turn your attention away from thought to what is other than thought. A good example is your body sensations. You don't need thought to notice your body sensations. You can feel them without describing them in words. Just notice them without describing them. The same with the breath. You don't need thought to notice your breath. You can feel yourself breathing without describing it in words. Just notice your breathing without describing. What else is not thought? That which is continuous. That which never leaves or changes that which was there before thought arose, that in which thought appears. Notice that. Be that. Identify with that. What else is not thought? that in which thoughts appear. In other words, awareness. In other words, you. You, the pure, choiceless presence of pure awareness itself. The background of all experience in which all experience appears. Be the background. Identify with that. Another second approach method you can try is wordlessness. Simply ask yourself, 
What can I notice about my current experience without using words to describe it? With some practice, you can learn to even ask this question wordlessly as you notice your direct experience. The third approach involves looking at thought directly and delving into its nature. One way to do this is to ask one of these three questions. Who are the words in my head talking to? Do I create thoughts? Where do thoughts come from? Asking these questions can reveal that thoughts appear to you. You are not thoughts. You are bigger. You include thoughts and everything else, and thoughts are just simply one of many appearances in you, awareness. And the final method in this third bucket is seeing that all thoughts involve problems. The fact that thoughts themselves appear is not a problem, but it's really useful to know that every thought involves some sort of a problem, no matter how small. This is the nature of the mind. Every thought, without exception, is targeting some problem that needs to be solved. This is what it does. Useful when needed for practical matters. Utterly useless if you want to discover your true nature as boundless joy. So here's the game. Relax and don't try to change anything in your experience, just for now. Wait for a thought to appear. Ask yourself, what problem is this thought trying to solve? When you identify the problem, think to yourself, aha, and take a breath. Wait for the next thought. Repeat. Here's some examples. How do I do this? What should I make for dinner? How can I get rid of this pain? What should I say next? These are all thoughts. These all involve problems. And just for now, ask yourself, can I let go of having to do anything about it to fix anything in my current experience just for now? Try this on your own for a few minutes. If you prefer, you can try one of the other methods. And as you get better and better at each of these methods, you can flow freely from one to the other and simply play jazz. Now, take another easy deep breath and at your own pace, begin to open your eyes.